Oh, this will go down as one of the most significant meetings uh, in history. Virtually no one would have predicted that the two leaders would meet peacefully in Singapore. So it is actually something that I compare to a political miracle. And it provides a lesson for the whole world. Singapore, in fact, it's not the first time that Singapore provides a neutral platform uh, for um, uh, these, cross, uh, these two parties. Back in the 1993, uh, the famous Wang Gu summit also took place here. So uh, what kind of role does Singapore play and, and why? How come Singapore get to play this role? There are many advantages uh, that Singapore has. The first advantage is that the leaders of Singapore from the time of Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, the founding father of Singapore, have always been trusted by both, he've had good relations with both, and both understand that Singapore only means well. We have no agenda. We only want to see peace across the Taiwan Straits. Secondly, of course, Singapore is also a majority Chinese society. And as a result of that, it probably has a better intuitive understanding of what the issues are. In that sense, uh, uh, it can play a helpful role. What can we expect from this historic meeting? I think it's best not to expect too much. It's always, you know, this is the first time that the leaders are meeting. So don't set the bar too high. Let's have a harmonious meeting where they talk frankly to each other and understand each other's concerns better, and that will be a great success.